Hi. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and um I'm Izzy, yeah you should know that but but anyway you might be when, why is it me? Oh my gosh. You might be thinking, what the heck is on top of my head? Well, you innocent you innocent I can't talk. You innocent viewer this is the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, so today I will be showing you how to make this masterpiece, even if you have short hair like me. It works. But anyway, um, let's go. Okay, so all you need is scrunchies or rubber bands like uh, these kind, these kind. I don't know if you can see how well. But you need scrunchies. Also, sorry for my hair. It's like a mess after I did that. And I just took it out of it, so. Anyway. Um, you need scrunchies and hair. And that's it. Wow. But, like, anyway. If you, like, I don't have that many scrunchies. Oh, also. Um, these. I mean, you can use them, but... Scrunchies are better only because they're easier to take out and you can you can use less of them other than this. But anyway, um, you're gonna be like, I don't have as many scrunchies as you. Where do you get your scrunchies? Well, I got it off Amazon for like eight dollars or something for like a thirty-six pack or four. I don't know, but that would mean like something cents for a scrunchie, which is good. Because nowadays, they're like $5 for freaking one. So, let's get started with the tutorial. So what you want to do is take a good amount of hair, and then maybe this much. If you have short hair, um, you can do what I'm doing, but like if you have long hair, and it's not layered like mine, because I would do it, but like whenever I put it, my hair at the top of my head, like the tiny strands that are layered, fall down but anyway so if you have longer hair you can do the same exact thing but all of your hair but i have just this much hair and i i feel like less hair is better only because like it's not gonna tip over most likely i don't know but anyway you take a scrunchie whatever color you want i think i'm gonna do rainbow maybe you know, i'm not sure and then you put it through as if it's a regular ponytail and then twist it once and then pull it through. You can straighten it if you want. And push down, like push a little down, I guess. And then tighten. And then do the same thing to all of them. So I think I'm gonna go to the time lapse right now. Also, um, it's only been like two seconds and I already got like three down and I'm already making progress. So I, this is why um, I would recommend scrunchies and not these hair elastics because if you do, it's a bit harder. So yeah. Okay guys, so as you can see, mine is kind of leaning, I don't know, I can't see it, but I feel it leaning, so if it's leaning like this, take this excess hair that you have up here, push everything down, and try to do it from the bottom as well, so like, push, 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 and tighten, and then like the tighter, the tighter it is, the tighter it is around here, the more stable it is, so it more straight it is, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off and I'll see you afterwards. Okay. And that's it. I think it, I just wasted your time, but whatever. Um, it's gonna be a pain to take these out, but especially if it's these elastics. So, 
good luck to you if you're using these. But scrunchies are pretty good, and you can like rock this look. Anyway, um, have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever. But anything. Anyways, also sorry if um the intros are changing a lot. I'm trying to find my style, so I've been making like new intros. So yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.